Welcome to another Boss Digital CQ5 screencast, third in the mobile website series. Previously we covered the creation of a standalone mobile site and the creation of the design, content page component and templates used by the site. On this screencast we will focus on creating a blueprint from an existing site, create a couple of rollout configurations for the blueprint and finally creating the site from the blueprint. We will also be using the content page component that was created in the previous screencasts. Now, to create the blueprint of an existing site, we go to the Tools section of CQ5. Click on MSM Control Center. Oh, sorry about this. MSM stands for Multi-Site Manager. And we create a new page here. Notice that it says the blueprint template as a default template. We're just going to create the page called boss site, since that is as descriptive as you can get. We could probably add in a bit more text or put a different name, but we're just going to do this right now. Create. Okay, now we're going to double click boss site. We're going to edit this to include the source path of where we want to go. We're going to, to use uh, this source path, path sorry, that has a uh, the structure with the main page, the language, and then the actual content because if you don't use this structure apparently the content of the site is not pulled correctly so just uh, take this into account. If we use this site instead where it just has the content we only get the main page with limited content in there. This way we can get the whole package. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna add a small description here. And okay, we're gonna add a thumbnail to make it easier to find. And we're gonna be using this one. Okay, now notice we have the source here, we have the thumbnail, and we have the description. That's it for creating the blueprint. Now we're going to create the rollout configurations. We're going to create two rollout configurations. So first we go into MSM, rollout configurations. We're going to create a general rollout configuration for mobile devices and we're going to create a boss site specific ro uh, rollout configuration. You can create as many as you want but for now we're going to create two. So that's to show you how to create a rollout configuration and how to include multiple rollout configurations if you need to on a site created from blueprint. So once here we go into new, as you can see rollout config template, we're gonna call this one uh, general mobile con configuration. We're going to create it. Now we're gonna create the second one. And this is going to be boss mobile specific configuration. I'm going to create it. Double click here. And this is how page, the configuration looks right now. There is no trigger defined to it, and there are no sync actions. First, we're going to define the trigger. The trigger is when is the configuration going to be executed? There are four options on rollout. When you, roll, uh, when you manually roll out from a blueprint the changes into the uh, depending site. On modification, if the blueprint is modified, then the changes uh, are applied. On activation, if the blueprint is activated, then the changes are applied into uh, uh, the depending site. And on the activation, once again, we're going to choose rollout, since the, uh, this will allow me to show you the blueprint uh, control center later on. And as a description, we're just going to put here uh, general mobile configuration for screencast. Click OK. Sync actions, there are no action defined. As you can see, as you can see, we have no way of defining the actions here. I'll show you in a second how to do it. First, we're going to put the trigger on the other configuration we created, boss mobile specific configuration. Double click, 
going to edit, rollout, and uh, configuration for the mobile site. And click OK. OK. Now we have a uh, basics. We're going to change to check change to CRXD to actually do the rollout configuration actions. We're going to call into etc. MSM rollout configurations, and here they are. But we have to refresh to see our newly created configurations. We have boss mobile specific configuration and general mobile configuration. First off, you're going to create the boss mobile specific configuration. Just to give you an idea of how the structure tends to look, here each of these nodes defines an action or a property that has to be taken, that has to be executed by the rollout configuration. There is there is a complete list on this site. If you cannot see the site, it's very long, I'm not going to read it all. You can actually look for CQ5 Multi Site Manager in your browser. You use Google you know, to use it. And just uh, roll down to the synchronization actions section. So I'm just going to do a quick here look, search. And here we go, synchronization actions should be down here. And there we go, there's the list. The title is just the title of the action, a quick description of what the action does. The action name, this is the act, this is the node, the name the node must have. Property name, once within the node, name of the property that you must create, and the value. There is a quite a list, so you might want to read it beforehand. We're, since we're going to do, be doing this quick, we're not going to go into too much detail here. Just a quick check on edit properties. This uses a regular expression, and it's uh, put the name of the property you want to check, the number sign, the regular exp expression of what the current value looks like, number sign, what you want to change it to, and then you put a comma to put several other values in there. We're going to be doing this one manually, and the other ones we're just going to be copying from an existing configuration and editing a little bit. So this one you need to know. So here we go, into JCR content, we're going to create a new node. The value of the node is the live sync action, secure, or the type, sorry, and the name is edit properties. We're doing this one uh, by hand, so just so that you can uh, see how you do it, uh, how you can do it manually. However, we're going to be copying this later on. So we're just going to check edit properties, you know, property called enabled, which file is going to be true, and then an edit map that's going to have the expression of what to edit. So let's get to it, and uh, new property, enabled, and the value is true. We're also going to a new property here. This is edit map. And the values, uh, okay, the value is, we're going to put slain resource type. We're going to be changing this to the slain resource type if. Actually, I'm going to finish it here. I'm going to edit it in a second just to show you what we're going to be doing. And we have for the page component in the regular side, we have a content page and a secondary page. We're going to make make it so that any any page that has those components changes into a mobile page. We're going to change the templates from home page and secondary pages into mobile page and then finally we're going to be changing the accordion component because it has some uh, javascript in it and not all the mobile phones have a javascript so we're going to be changing it to a static accordion that does not use uh, the javascript uh, functionality but it looks practically the same so what we're going to do is 
come here into edit properties. And okay. So we need content page or secondary page. Change into mobile page, capital P, comma, next in the resource type is and this slash is not necessary but uh, notice that the it's apps boss components page it's all uh, it's all ordered in the folder like structure so what we're making sure is that the, if the resource type is content page and not, not let's say my content page which could be another another component created by somebody else or we call mobile content page then this could this could potentially become a mobile con content page content page or a mobile mobile content page so let's make sure that the start of the name starts here so name resource type okay we're going to change accordion ah, this is only one value so no need to put parentheses we're going to change into static accordion and finally we're going to change the template which is CQ template hit the template it's home page or secondary pages page or secondary pages then change it into mobile page Wait, page has a capital P. And we just created our first rollout configuration. That will only contain that. Next, we're going to modify the general mobile configuration, the JCR content. We're just going to copy these nodes. Paste here. And we're going to edit the edit property. What we're going to be doing here is to make sure that if uh, any images are included in the uh, in our mobile page, they be changed into the mobile image. And if any text images are included, would they be changed into mobile text image? The only thing this does is uh, check if uh, the mobile phone can actually display images, and if it doesn't display them, if not, it doesn't do it. It doesn't display anything. So, select resource type, we're going to change this. Wait, nope, mobile. There we go, general mobile configuration, that's ours. So, if the resource type is image, change to mobile image. Delete this template thing. We're just going to copy here, since that would be much easier. <coughs> Sorry about that. It'll be easier to insert the text image. And we're going to mobile text image. And, and well, here we go, that's the... Uh, roll configuration done. Now all that's left to do is create the actual uh, site. So we're just gonna save this. <coughs> and now we're gonna create the site here on the site manager. <coughs> 